M0FXB. So let's uh, load up a repeater list just using our PC and the ICOM 705 with the micro USB cable. No SD card in this one. So first thing, make sure you've got your USB driver download. Here's the link. You just go to the bottom, click download, and then just run the... Where is it? Let's go here and run the ICOM USB serial one. Okay, and I chose 64. And then just run it, which I've obviously already done. Uh, when it does connect, when you go to Device Manager, it will look like this. See, you got IC705 serial port A CIV. My, the one I'm using is COM8, and that's the one that's worked. But this is what it should look like once you've got the driver downloaded. Do, do all that. Download this before you connect it to the radio. Okay, so that's your USB sorted. I will put a link in for other lit for other for, uh, software. So now it's the programming software download, which is the CS705. You want the latest version. I'm running version 1.26 on the radio. And so this version 1.11 is what works with that, um, that firmware on the radio. So click download. And then you've got the CS705 zip. And again... Links in the description. So here it is, set up XC and run, run, run. And then you'll you'll get your firmware. Of course, I've already got it, so I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. It just looks like this. There you go. So what else have we got here? So we've got that. Now you need a repeater list. So uh, this is gonna put in all our repeaters for our, our most, uh, most of the world on. So then just click this, click download. Um, and then, apologies for the background noise. Uh, click download, and that's your repeater list. Once you've got your repeater list, send it somewhere. So click it and set, extract this file to somewhere. You're going to find it. The one to make a note of is this one here, USA Repeater CSV. Now you can sort of create a CSV here on um, D Star Info, but um, more for use with the SD card. Back to our programming software, CS705. So all you've got to do, and I've got a Jap Jap Japanese one here. So literally just go File, Import, All, and then select the USA one or UK if you've got that here. Now this is just to put in your repeater lists. It isn't to put in all of your memories and everything else. That's a separate video. This is just a video on importing your repeater list. So it's just loading now. And see here, here's the Japanese repeater list. It's going to change now to the USB one. There you are, to the USA one, as you can see. But it has got the whole world, but it's the USA version. And then if you want to save that somewhere, just click Save. And, um, you know, save it somewhere. Click Yes. Um, so that should help you if you've lost your repeater list. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll put all the links in for this in the video. All the best.